from their windows, outside your home when you come and go, or showing up at places you frequent even after you've expressed discomfort. Unexpected encounters. They keep dropping by unannounced, lingering on your doorstep or in common areas even after you've shut down the conversation. Knowledge of your routine. They seem to know your schedule or personal details that you haven't shared with them. Privacy violations. You find things like litter from their trash in your yard, or signs someone has been tampering with your belongings or entering your property when you're not there. Intimidation. They make threats, send unwanted gifts or messages, or vandalize your property. Trust your gut. If you feel unsafe or uncomfortable with your neighbor's behavior, it's important to take steps to protect yourself. Here are some resources that can help. Stocking Awareness and Resource Center, Spark, provides information and resources on stocking prevention and safety planning linked to www.stockingawareness.org. National Domestic Violence Hotline, can offer support and safety planning even if stocking isn't in the context of a romantic relationship 1-800-799-7233. Remember, you are not alone. There are people who can help you stay safe. That can definitely be unsettling. Here are some ways someone might know your name even if you haven't introduced yourself. Common sources. Other people. You might have been with someone who knows the person and introduced you indirectly. Public information. Your name could be visible on your clothes, ID badge, mail delivered to your door, or even from social media profiles set to public view. Mutual connections. If you're in a social setting, someone you know might have mentioned your name to the person who addressed you. Their job. Depending on their profession, they might have access to information about you, especially if it's a work or business environment. Less common scenarios. Overheard conversation. They might have overheard someone else calling you by name. Mistaken identity. It's possible they confused you with someone else they know. What to do. If you feel comfortable, you can simply say, Hi, that's me, and introduce yourself properly. This can help break the ice and clarify any confusion. However, If the situation makes you uneasy, you can politely ask, how do you know my name? This can give you some context about how they found out. Remember, trust your gut feeling. If the situation feels off, it's okay to excuse yourself and find a trusted person to talk to. You can always choose not to engage in conversation if you don't feel comfortable.
that's totally understandable. You have every right to your privacy. If you'd prefer not to engage with your nosy neighbor, here are some strategies that focus on keeping to yourself. Minimize interaction. Keep your greetings friendly but brief. A simple wave and a smile can go a long way without inviting conversation. Come and go at times that minimize running into her. This might mean taking out the trash later at night or grabbing your mail at a different time. If she tries to strike up a conversation, politely excuse yourself or keep your answers short and general. Privacy landscaping. Consider planting hedges, shrubs, or installing privacy fences. Check WA rules first to create a physical barrier between your property and her.